Hi friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, I hope you find it interesting because I have done a little experiment. Uh, last week, I needed to buy a new fitness watch because my uh, old fitness watch, my old Garmin watch, essentially died on me. So I wanted to purchase a new watch. So I looked into it and I found one that I was really interested um, in getting. It's the Garmin Vivoactive 3. Um, and I decided this time to wear it 24 seven. I wore it 24 hours, seven days a week to see my daily calorie burn and to see the statistics on how my body functions according to my watch, according to the um, information I gave it, you know, you know my, my height, my weight, my gender, my um, whatever else it had asked for. So uh, usually what I do with my old fitness watch, I had only worn it for my workouts because I love to keep track um, and, and post on Strava. I'd love to know the time duration, the intensi intensity of my workout, um, taking, taking a look at my heart rate, especially if I used it for um, cycling on my turbo trainer, I would be able to know um, the cadence, uh, the kilometers that I've done, that sort of thing. So I found that really helpful for my workouts so I know at what intensity I'm training um, to see if I can improve in certain areas. It's just really great for fitness. However, since I got this new watch and it had a whole spew of new um, technology because it's a lot newer than my old one, I noticed that I, I was like, you know what, why don't I be really, really re religious with it and use it as an experiment, plug in all of my information, all of my details, and let's see what it thinks that I burn on the daily calories and what I burn throughout the week um, and what my steps are, that sort of thing. I've never ever been able to do that. I've never um, done an experiment like this, so I thought it was really cool because the reason I'm doing this, the reason I've done this is because I've had a few trolls on my YouTube channel. I, I would assume that they're just jealous that I can eat so much and maybe eat in a particular sort of way, but I get a feel from these people that they're upset that I'm eating so much or I'm eating in this particular way. I'm not exactly sure, but I know this one girl, she's quite upset that I eat a lot of calories. Um, and she seems to think that I burn a lot of calories in order to be able to eat the amount that I do. Um, and I can effectively prove now that is not the case because I've done this experiment by wearing this fitness watch, this highly intelligent fitness watch, um, throughout these seven days, 24 seven. So I went to bed with it, I exercised with it, I wore it through the whole day, I never took it off once within these seven days. So this fitness watch gave me a ton of different statistics, it was really cool, it showed me um, my sleep, it showed me not only about how many hours of sleep I got, it showed me the REM, the light sleep, deep sleep, the times that I was awake in the night. Um, it shows me uh, the daily steps that I've done each day. Of course, it shows me my daily calories burned. That's including my, you know, just standing around, walking around here to the kitchen and back. Um, you know, uh, all of my exercise that was included as, as well. Um, this fitness watch also showed me my stress level throughout the day. So by the end of the day, it gave me a stress indication of a level of, you know, high, medium or low or how um, stressful that day was for my body. So it gave me a whole, a whole load of things, which is really amazing. And I will show you the screenshot of the overall seven days average here and I'll, I'll, I'll link it somewhere. Or I'll be able to show you. So my average daily calories that week was 1,700 approximately. Um, and my average daily calories burned each day is between, it, it ranged between 1,900 and something, and the, the, the most that I burned one day was 2,100 calories. That includes my whole day, just random things here and there. That includes the exercise that I did on those days. That includes everything. My average daily steps are as little as nearly 5,000 each day on average. So uh, uh, some people seem to think I move my body and exercise like crazy. I don't, I really don't do much. 
eat every single day. I'd say five to six, five to six days a week. I do an activity. I do an exercise to move my body, whether it's yoga, a hit workout, riding on the turbo trainer, going for a walk, because it's important for me to move my body for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour each day because my work, my job is very sedentary. I work at my desk. Um, I don't actually have a sit down desk because I prefer standing, so I have a stand up desk. However, I'm just standing. I'm not moving. I'm standing at my desk on my laptop, working with clients, answering emails, doing YouTube stuff, editing videos, that sort of thing. All of my work is primarily done on the computer and I work at least five hours every day for at least, I don't know, five, six days a week. Five hours on my laptop on average I'd say. So I'm standing a lot of the day, I don't move around much. That accounts for not getting in um, 5,000 steps on the average daily. Uh, I would say, I think it showed me um, about, you know, one day was as little as like 3,500 steps and another day, I think the most I did was like 8,000 steps and that was because we walked to the grocery store to get our groceries and we came back So I don't move my body much. So again, my Calories burned each day was about 1800 to 2000 calories and my weekly average calorie burn for each day It said was about 1700 calories and again, I will show that to you so how is it possible that my intelligent fitness watch given all my information wearing it 24 7 says that i only burn up to 2000 calories i never burn more than that how can i eat 2500 calories on average how can i eat 500 to 700 calories more than what i actually burn because calories in versus calories out is complete nonsense I've done so many videos and I will still do more videos because I feel like a lot of people still haven't grasped that concept that calories are just a unit of measurement. It, your body doesn't really recognize calories, that's just a measurement that humans have given that particular thing. Our bodies are extremely smart bio computer, very very intelligent, very very complex. We don't know exactly how our body actually you know, absorbs, breaks down, digests, and, and assimilates and metabolizes the foods that we're eating. We don't know 100% of everything yet. So don't focus on calories. Just eat when you're satisfied, satiated, eat, and then stop when you're full. Don't make it complicated because your body will know exactly what to do with it. When you eat 100% natural, whole plant foods, your body will thrive. There's no need to worry about calories. I, I can't stress it enough. Like it, it's just, it's such a ridiculous thing to go off of. It's so old school. Like it's so like prehistoric to just say, oh, calories. You just like focus on calories, calories in, calories out. It's complete nonsense. I mean, yes, there are calories in the items that we eat, the food items that we eat, because we need a fuel. We need to be able to understand it in some way. But your body doesn't know what calories are. It doesn't just you utilize calories. It utilizes all of the nutrients, all of the uh, energy, all of the electromagnetic energy that is in those foods. Focus on eating fruits, vegetables, uh, some whole grains, root vegetables, tubers like potatoes, sweet potatoes, squashes, a little bit of nuts and seeds. That is our optimal diet. Eat your species specific diet. Don't worry about numbers. Don't worry about measurements. Just eat as much as you feel comfortable with until you're satisfied and satiated. There's absolutely no way you can overeat. I maintain, I've been maintaining my weight, my, my body structure pretty much for like the last several years. And I've been eating 2,500 calories regularly for the last several years. And yeah, mind you, my activity level goes up and down sometimes, but I've always had the sedentary job for the last, how long have I been a health coach? like three years, three, four years. You don't need to worry about numbers. Don't worry about numbers. Please just eat naturally. So I hope you guys found this video interesting, informative, inspiring, hopefully. Please, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button there. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time. Bye.